Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Jeffrey and today we are going to explain to you why a downpipe upgrade is a great performance benefit for your car. Firstly, if you look for more sound, this is one of the best bang for buck mods that you can go for. A downpipe is a piece of exhaust that connects directly to your turbocharger. The turbocharger sits somewhere around here and right after that is the downpipe. This downpipe is from a B58 but it is a similar concept for other turbocharged cars. So this one is a high flow catheter one with a heat shield and why is this a performance upgrade? When your turbocharger spools up it has to build pressure and push the exhaust flow through the downpipe. If the exhaust flow through the downpipe is being hindered due to a more restrictive catalytic converter, the exhaust flow will be slowed. With a high flow catalytic downpipe or a catalyst downpipe, this flow will be optimized so the turbocharger can spool more quickly, but it also will give more performance benefits. So what kind of downpipes do we have? Well, you can do a few things. A lot of these downpipes are not allowed for the open, open road. So if you go for a catless one, make sure that you only drive the car off-road or it is at your own risk. This one is a high flow catalytic one. You can see it in here. There's a catalytic converter inside, this is, which is less restrictive than the original one. It means that the exhaust flow will flow quicker and the turbocharger will have less um, effort to push the exhaust flow through this downpipe. After this downpipe, you will connect it to the original catback or a aftermarket catback, and that catback will also determine how the exhaust flow improves or will be restricted down the line. With this downpipe, the B58, B48, you will need to get, uh, consider that you have the OPF style or the uh, slip on style. This V clamp will connect directly to the catback behind it, and they made a different downpipe for the EU spec and the USA spec. Reason being, otherwise, people will just swap out the OPF's catbacks, that is, for this one. Meaning that you can just easily delete the OPF. We have other solutions for that, if, of course, if you want that. So it is possible, but uh, BMW thought of that, so you cannot just swap, easily swap out the catback from a uh, non-OPF car to one with OPF. <clears throat> so, this downpipe looks a bit different then. It also has the uh, small pressure, pressure pipe here, which means that you will connect this to the pressure sensors as well. If you delete the OPF and delete the cat, in the software, you can also opt for one without the pressure sensor, but we like to have the pressure sensor uh, connected when you install these downpipes. So, um, these downpipes, like we said before, are available in catless or high flow catted one. And even with the catted ones, there are uh, different types of cats that you can choose from. The most standard one is the 200 cell high flow catted downpipe. But if you want a more cleaner solution, you can always opt for a Euro 6 300 cell one or a 400 cell one. Why should you go for the 200 cell downpipe? The 200 cell downpipe is the best uh, balance between performance and sound. It also is road legal in most countries, which allows this one to be used on the road. But it, it also depends on the country you're in, of course. On top of the 200 cell downpipe, there's also a 300 and a 400 cell downpipe that you can opt for. And those have a few benefits that the 200 cell and the catalyst doesn't have. That is the check engine light. When you install a downpipe, the car will most likely recognize that you have installed this, this modification because you either made it catless or you gave it a high flow cat. This means that the cat is less efficient and the car will recognize that. In most cases, this will lead to a check engine light and this will appear on your dashboard eventually. With the 200 cell, the car will most likely still recognize that it is a less efficient cat catalytic converter than the original one, so it will throw a check engine light. With the 300 or the 400 cell, depending on the brand that you choose, the check engine light might not appear. With the 300 cell, it is a hit and miss, 
Some might, some might not, but it is also car dependent. With the 400 cell, it's most likely that the check engine light will not appear. So what are the downsides to the 300 and 400 cell downpipes then? They are more restrictive and they will allow for less sound to come out of the exhaust compared to the catless or the 200 cell one. So there's always a mix in between the uh, options that we have. With the 300 and 400 cell downpipes, you will not gain the same amount of performance, but if it is a high quality one, the performance difference are slim. So what are the consequences? If you go for a downpipe, most likely the car will just recognize that you uh, installed the downpipe with a less restrictive catalytic converter, which means it will throw a check engine light. It will 100% happen with the uh, catless versions. Not so sure about the 200 cell, but most of them do. What is the reason behind this? Because the catalytic converter is less clean, because it's less restrictive. It means that it will push more exhaust to flow through and the sensors will just see that the exhaust is not clean enough. So while it gives, gives you more performance benefit, it also means that it is less clean for the road. And the car will recognize that and throw a check engine light. How can you solve this? You can either remap the car on the ECU or you can go for a delete module. The delete modules will get rid of the errors inside the ECU, but the best way in our opinion is of course to remap the car. To do that on cars after July 2020, it means you have to unlock the ECU to do so. Otherwise, you cannot reach the ECU and it's not tunable. So what if you don't want to remap the car? Well, then the solutions are getting thinner, but there are some solutions. You can either install a delete module that gets rid of the, uh, the uh, errors on your dashboard, or you can try it with a dummy cat, a, a mini cat, let's say that, that you put on the second O2 sensor location, and then you install the uh, original O2 sensor inside that mini cat. That will throw the ECU in thinking that the exhaust is cleaner than it actually is, so your check engine light will not appear. Coming back to why you should upgrade your downpipe, it gives you more performance benefits, it gives you a better sound, and it will make your car much more fun to drive. And that's what counts. And last but not least, before ordering a downpipe, it is best to send us your VIN number because we can check for you which downpipe you will need. So I hope this video has cleared some things up. If you're unsure about which downpipe you should choose, don't hesitate to contact us. We can help you out with which downpipe fits your car and which, what solution is the best for your needs. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.